Hello there, my name is Fedor and in today's video I want to talk about integration white wall in the Shopify shop. First of all, some words about the white wall. When I looked for a print-on-demand provider for my own online shop, I checked several services and all of them provided a not good enough quality for my perspective. Maybe I'm a bit a perfectionist here, but from my perspective, when you sell image as an image, the quality should be superior. And the white wall is a photo lab that provides this quality. And it's not an advertisement. Unfortunately, nobody pay me for this. It's just my personal opinion. So recently, white wall introduced the Shopify integration that you can find here in the B2B segment. And on this link, you can see the same screen with some description about how it works and how to use it. Because it's a Shopify integration, we of course need a Shopify store that I already prepared. I am not going to go too deep here because Shopify is a very popular system and you can find a lot of different uh, manuals, how to use it also on YouTube and as an articles on the internet. And of course, we also need a white wall account to integrate it. I also created one. It's an empty at the moment, but we add something here. So let's move forward. First of all, to integrate our white wall uh, account to the Shopify, we need to install a white wall Shopify app. We can find it here in the add app section. Actually, and if you click on this apps with arrow, you will find a search bar and let's type a white wall here. We need to click enter because by default it's searched by the already installed application and only if you click enter, it will search for the whole marketplace. Let's install it. You need to agree with terms and conditions here, but I already integrated it in my personal shop. So I already familiar with that. Okay, it was strange, but it looks like it works. So first to integrate your white wall account, you need your token. So. To get it, let's go to our white wall to the Shopify product management in the left panel. Here, ah, uh, oh, sorry. First, we should go to our partner tokens and create a new token. Let's call it Shopify. So keep your token secrets. I have created the fake account, so I don't worry about it. We need to copy it return back to the Shopify and apply our token. Click next. Here we can create a company. Hmm. We can choose another one. Let's say Estonia. And it will take some time to set up the shop. We just need to wait a bit. Okay, everything is ready. We have our white wall account integrated and actually we can start with adding products. You can upload your image here. Let's choose something from my already existing store. For example, this one. Click next, here you can set up a name and a description for the product. Now we need to select the configurations. When you click here, you can see that you already have three prepared configuration. It's a floater flame, acrylic glass print and standard print on Fuji paper. When you click on one of them, you can also set up the sizes and prices for them that you want to use. You can remove some of them. You can change the price if you want. But keep in mind that if you switch to this line, sometimes uh, 
weird things happened with the prices. As you can see, it changed to something unreasonable. So I would recommend to use your mouse and click directly on each field and change it manually. You can save it and we are ready to go. If we click on create the product, we also need to wait some time and it will be added to our shop. Okay, everything is ready. If we go to our product section, we can see our test product. So we have already set up variants with the prices. We have our configuration with page and title for the search engine. And of course, for the product itself, here we can add it to a collection. It's automatically added to a start site. It's in German, but it's a homepage. So if we go to our shop and reload it, we should see our new product. And as you can see, it works. But if you check this image, it looks not very good. And the reason is that uh, when you upload image to a white wall, it compresses it to actually save space. Because when you put too many to have images on your site, it will load it slower. It's bad for SEO optimization. It's also bad for your user experience. So it's always better to have smaller images. But when you sell images, it's also good to show your customers that the quality is great. So what I would recommend here is to change the main preview manually. We can click here and remove it. Now we can go to our files again. I have two exports when I develop uh, images in Lightroom the full size for printing, and I also create a screen size pictures just for the preview. They are not very big, so we can choose one and it will be also around uh, two or three megabytes. So fair enough for a good preview on the website. Now when the image is uploaded, we can move it to the beginning of the list. It's saved automatically, so you don't need to click save here. And if you reload your shop again, you can see that you also have a very good quality of the picture and everything is set. One issue here is that as you could see before, uh, let's add our white wall app here and pin it to see always, it will be a bit easier. So yeah, as you can see, when we worked with it, we had only three configurations for the product. In white wall, we have a lot more different types of products, but to use them, you should first add them to the Shopify product management. Let's go here and here in the end of the page, you can see this product configuration for sale on Shopify. We can create a new product and select anything that we want from this list. Unfortunately, not all of these products are available for reselling, but if something doesn't work, for example, I think acrylic blocks are not available, you will see it in Shopify that it's not available for reselling. But let's set up, for example, a floater frame. Uh, you could see that we already had one in the Shopify by default, but the issue here is that each configuration have its own setup for the frame. So if you want to have different frames, uh, for example, colors or size or type, you need to create different options for it. Let's create one with Adler Brown frame. And we can apply change and save this configuration. We need to set up a name for it. Keep in mind that this name will be used for your variant name on the Shopify, so it's better to set up something reasonable. Let's call it Adler Brown Frame with Acrylic Print. We can see that it's available now in the list. Let's create a new one. 
and I will also use the floater frame, but in this case it will be, I don't know, maybe we can use Maple Natural, just for example. Again, save it, give a proper name. And now we can return to the Shopify and create a new product with our new configuration. Let's choose another file from the full size folder. For example, this is nice rows. We upload the file, we can move next. Let's call it just rows and the same in the description, just for example. And now in the configuration, you can see that we have our new floater frames that we just added. Unfortunately, we don't have previews here, so we can't understand what color is better for this picture. What I do in this case, I go to white wall and use white wall configuration for this. Unfortunately, the files that we already uploaded on the white wall are not available for configuration because they are present only in the Shopify product management. If you want to use it in the white wall configurator, you need to upload them again in the pictures part. Oh, it's another folder with more images. Let's go here, choose the same rows. Just wait a bit for the downloading. And now we can go to the configurator. So here in the white wall product configurator, we can use our floater frame select the same color that we have in the white wall app on Shopify. I think it was an Adler Brown, which looks very good. And probably Maple Natural is not a proper color for this picture. So now I am sure that I should use exactly Adler Brown. I can again set up the sizes and prices for this picture probably add the standard paper. And you can choose more sizes for one than another and choose different prices. Shopify will notify you that the size is not selected in all configuration, but it's fine. You can sell one type bigger, another type smaller and keep it as you like. Let's save it and create product with our new variants. and it succeeded. So if we go to the products, we can see that our new product is also available. And you can also see that white wall automatically added previews, not only for the picture itself, but also for the frames that we selected. Let's find one with no frame. So yeah. Now you can see that your picture is, has a preview also with a frame. If you select several frames with different colors, you will have preview for all your variants. So white wall just does a great job for everything. And if it's already added to a homepage collection, we should be able to see it in our shop. Uh, let's move back to the homepage and yeah, we have our new product. You can see that your customers can choose different variants, the frame print, the photo print, different sizes. So everything works as expected. And as you can see, if customer choose, for example, our paper print and the size that is not available with the frame, he will see that it's not available in this size. It's all also works automatically. Uh, one more interesting thing, if you go to the white wall products list here, you can change products directly on the white wall. Uh, sorry, you shouldn't click on the rows itself, but on the edit button. Here you can update almost everything. You can change the picture, you can change the description, you can change the configurations or sizes and save the product. 
but keep in mind that it will override the whole product on your Shopify. So if you change the preview image manually, you need to do it again after updating product on the white wall side. And another interesting thing that you can actually create drop. If you add a product, upload a new picture, let's say this one, for the uploading process. Yes, we can go next. Call it somehow Move next. And you can see the save draft button here. If you click on it, it's automatically save a draft. And now if you close this window and return to add product, you can always load from draft, check ones that you saved before and continue where you stopped. You have already uploaded image, your selected name and description, and you can return to the configuration. So actually that's it. You can create your brand new shop. You can integrate it with Shopify and create all products with no problems. So thank you and feel free to also visit my shop that I will left in the description.